EA Sports, and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. This afternoon, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational, presented by MasterCard. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. And that should be just fine. Good drive there to get the Saturday round underway. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. He's got 141 to the hole, pin about medium depth, though it is on the left side. Now it's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. This one measures out to 15 feet. Well done, that is in for a par here at the first. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. is going to wind up in this front bunker here to a fairly popular place, but it is deep, so a bit of a daunting second upcoming. Okay, not bad out of the sand, and that's what will remain, trying to grind out a par. Good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Yeah, that's a good drive right there. Played the bend in that fairway perfectly, and more importantly, kept it out of that lake. In my book, that's a good shot. You could really aim at the middle of just about every single green. If you did it all day long, some of those would finish up close. And you'd have plenty of birdie putts. Perfect there, down the slope, it's in for a birdie. And that'll put him at one under for his round and 14 under for the tournament.
So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Uh, that's good technique. And that is right around five feet. Not too bad. Good run going here early. This is birdies at three and four. And he moves to 15 under. Well, that one's finished in the first cut. It's going to be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. be fairly pleased with that Frank what do you think I certainly do it was so so good that one finished off and it is a part here at five he's going to maintain that substantial lead It's going to be up the left-hand side. Yep, very good shot right there. Was able to cover that lake with ease and into the fairway here at six. At half the equation on that shot, the distance, not quite the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept it in the ballpark, and well, let's see how good you can chip. This will slide a bit right. It's for birdie. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six to 16 under par.
And that's going to be too strong. It is into one of the two back bunkers around this seventh green. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he's going to remain at minus 16. Balance in the first cut. We know you can't spin the ball as much from the first cut. Still lying okay. This one's looking good. Now it's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. Nope, good effort, but that's got to wander a few feet by. Okay, that in for par here at the eighth. And he'll stay right where he is. feet left here for birdie. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. That'll mean this is a 32 on the front, four under par. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Second shot now from right at 100 yards. A little short, a little left, but inside 10 feet, so even I can't really criticize that. Oh, missed it right. Just didn't have the right line. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And he'll hold tight at 17 under par.
He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. He's in a good spot. 135 yards left to the flag. Wind coming from behind, so you'll need to be careful where you land it. Now, that's an excellent shot. Inside that 10 feet circle, a little long, a little left, but still good. Okay, that ball online all the way. It's a birdie here at 11. And he's got it to minus 18. Nothing to fault there, safely in the fairway. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just needed a good bunker shot. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll remain at 18 under. This one tugged just a bit. The wind going to push it a little. Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. Not in the fairway, but not a real problem here at the 13th, getting set to play his second shot. Okay, that's acceptable there. Chance now for another birdie. I nearly had it. Just going to wander a foot or so by. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll remain right where he is. That's a good looking shot just left of the flag stick and he'll have that left for his birdie. Mm, a 
good opportunity lost there. No issues there. Four days of par here at 14. And he'll stay right where he is. That one looking a little right. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here. And this, another fine tee shot. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh, yes, a perfect putt there. It is in for birdie here at 15. He moves to 19 under for the tournament. so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Dot going for it in two, and Frank safely aboard here at the 16th at Bay Hill. Exactly, Rich. Not an overly long par five. Very scorable, and that's what we expect. Now this for another birdie. This round finishing strong. Back-to-back -back birdies now at 15 and 16. And he gets it to 20 under par. That one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. And this will be a five foot putt here. Got that up too high, and it didn't want to come back. That one finished off for Bogey here at 17. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done.
turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Uh, good shot, safely on the green, and a birdie chance. Okay, a good putt for his par here at the 18th green. So a final look at the leaderboard, and this has just been a runaway so far. Our featured golfer, miles in front, with 18 left to play. I'm still scratching my head trying to find the difference between you know a featured player and the rest of the field, but it's just better off the tee, better approach shots, better putting, uh, different league. So for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay the third, and Iona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on E!